running with the Mac Laundry Admit Cox on the Mars offlane scam on the hero come and put a little tasty wager on, you know? Statue 24 is promo code. You can get a bonus 50 quid on your first bet. Nice cookie play, they go in here, but Ponyo! Does he still get the lotus? No. Who got the lotus? Naga Siren? Actually, really nice, really nice. Quick point this time around in Ensnare. Last time around they waited until level 4, but look at this. They catch Cox off guard, and that's going to be pretty much two kills for the top lane here. Not just the first blood, but the second blood as well. Turn up the volume. I think it's because there's a different volume setting on each, uh, on each screen, actually. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Oh, Ponyo, Ponyo, getting cookied over there. That's a nice setup for the kill. He's still juiced, but they'll make it happen in the end. Jin gonna get the kill. Akashi immediately gets the counterplay, though. Elsewhere, Mac takes down Talon in the mid lane, and you kind of have to expect it, right? Did they get the tower anyway? They didn't deny it, okay. Natsumi. He's got a way in here onto the pack, but maybe not. Yo, come doing a lot of work. Nice big wick one though, and the heels from the Jingu stacks. Puck trying to get off to safety, jaunting into the enemy base. Uh, gets a courier on the way. Even if he dies now, he's gonna feel a little bit vindicated, but he will. He will still fall. Amplified damage was picked up by Ponyo on his way out here. Maybe you can put it to envision in your mind, chap. Okay, WS looking for the initiation. By initiation, I mean looking for the slow walk on. Ice path, macro pyre, beautifully done. Natsumi coming flying forward. Ponyo completely handled. They go looking for more though. Can't they find any more? No, they're just gonna back it up. Back it up, back it. Uh, they're fighting Jeeves. They sure are. The arena goes down. They did nothing particularly damaging. Neither Ravage counterplay though. They'll get one, two, make it three. Cox, he's in a lot of trouble here getting surrounded by four heroes as they'll run him down up to the high ground. Easy peasy. And this time around, they were able just to walk the Tide Hunter in safely. There were some pings coming out. He says hello. Maybe he's going to try and steal the Aegis. That could be pretty slick. Oh, they're sort of aware. Matt comes flying forward in from the side there. Ready, steady, Orchid. Now the Wukong's command. Ponyo, he's a little too deep though. The Song of the Siren to cancel up Wukong command. To start with the chase to go on Mars nice arena setting things up spearing her to the wall but they're ready with the solar crest neither return play WSC pops off a huge ravage Manta not available or the using Jeeves trying to back out get out of the fight here WS chasing around in through the macro fire he's taking literally no damage on this Chiquito though eventually goes down to Joachim's rocket Never mind Joachim's Razor, they'll take Joachim back the other way. WS, he's clapped on by four heroes. And he will go down in the process. Pretty rough situation. You know, there's a lot of uh, dire heroes surrounding him. They, they've kind of fallen back though, geez. They sure have, they gave up on this plan. Big TP's coming across, Akashi making some space. Surrounded by four, the BKB is going to be a bit of a problem for him. He's a BKB of his own. They're going to drop those bombs down tight. Sticking around a little bit too long here. He's such a high value target. I don't think he can go down like this. 49 seconds on the sideline. He does have a buyback, Jeeves. Yeah. Oh, they're smoked up right now. They're having a little look here. Talon, they want to get on the invasion. Looking for the angle, the, uh, mm, there it is, they go, nice coil, getting things set up, the arena comes back the other way, the macro fire, it's a lot of damage in amongst all this, WS looking for the ravage opportunity, he'll hold it, can't get it off, and they get absolutely destroyed in the team fight, Geek Farm coming out way ahead here, Ponyo gonna get cleaned out as well, it's a triple kill, they do have, really, okay, there we go, can we move to the side of it? There we go. The initiation. Nice arena. WS controlled again. Still no ravage. 70 seconds on the sideline for him. Awkward. Just a little bit maybe. I don't know. 64 seconds. Now they're going to lose a full set of rocks. This little shredder going to win. Silence. 27 seconds on this Aegis. He's going to... I mean, he's just going to eat through the rocks. The bear. Mac goes forward here. Now the jump forward from Cox with the BKB arena. 
Re refresh. He's got another go of this. Four seconds. For the gyrocopter mark with the fear. They push him off this final set of racks. Coming through with the silence, start to drop some bombs on top. Mars ready with the second arena. WS, will he ravage this time? He does ravage, finally! It does literally nothing, Jeeves. It sure does not. Nayakashi tries to get a little netting action here, but everything on the kitchen sink, that macro fire, is doing so much damage to everyone there. Ponyo, he's getting some tracks out, but then just going to get one hit rooted this time. Four staffed away. Chion goes through the back line, but he can't find anything. Geek Farm are on the high ground. They've taken literally everything and they're losing nothing. Buyback on Chion. He comes back in. Jokum with the buyback being held. He's going to buy back now as well. Comes into it, but it's a desperate defense for Talon on the high ground here. Geek Farm are looking pretty unstoppable. Wait, Mark. He gets handled somewhat here. Zakashi goes in with the BKB, but they're still putting the beat down. Natsumi will not be stopped. He comes through with the little BKB action of his own. His Mjolnir's up. He's all tracked up. Kani continues to pressurize here. Chion, he's going to TP into the ice path. It's going to get cancelled off. They turn around, look for Jokum, bring Jokum down. The spear now on Ponyo. They find two, make it an easy one. WS is in amongst them all. The burning spear of Mars. He's doing that AOE damage. They got a nice ice path on Akashi. Akashi to fall as well. 54 seconds on the sideline. And they only have two heroes and no base left. And we are definitely going to a game three.